Here's so how I can make this non-destructive wavy text blend here in Illustrator. Step one, I'm gonna go with this text as a reference. By the way, I went with the Noia Haas Grotesque Display Pro Black. Now I'm gonna go and select the rectangle. I'm gonna swap it from fill to stroke. Click on the stroke so it's gonna be on the top. Now let's go to the swatches and I'm gonna select the orange, for example, and I'm gonna put the text in a frame and I'm gonna cut out the unnecessary parts and also make sure to go to the stroke and go to align stroke outside. I'm also gonna increase the stroke thickness. For example, I'm gonna select two and I'm gonna arrange the stroke a little bit better, something like this. And I'm gonna select another rectangle and I'm gonna swap it from stroke to fill. Click on the fill so it's gonna be on the top and I'm gonna create another rectangle on the stroke rectangle and I'm gonna cover it up. Let's go ahead and right click on the rectangle with the fill, arrange and select send to back. Now you might say that this is a better option doing it with a clipping mask. Unfortunately, it's not working when the blend is applied. So I'm just gonna roll with this. I'm gonna select all the vector shapes, right click and click on group. Now we're gonna need to scale this down and check this out. If I scale it down, the stroke is going to get thick. So I'm gonna press Control Z and we're gonna fix that. Let's go to the properties, transform, click on the three dots and select scale stroke and effect. Now I can scale it down and check this out. The stroke thickness basically remains the same. I'm gonna position it here, press and hold Alt to drag it down to duplicate. Right click on this text, go to arrange and select send to back. Now I can select both of these. Let's go to the object, blend and select make. Now we're gonna go to the blend tool, double click on it. Now let's go to specify, select specify steps and increase the number of the copies. I'm going to try it out with five, click OK. And let's go to the effects, go to warp and select wave. Now here, make sure to select the vertical and with this handle, you can bend it on the left or on the right. I'm going to bend it to the right, click OK. And now it looks pretty decent, but we didn't finish yet. I'm going to go and select the direct selection tool and I'm going to click on the text and check this out. I'm going to try to find this line here. Now this is the spine of the blend and I'm gonna go here where this anchor point is and I'm gonna select this anchor point and let's go to the corner options and, and click on convert selected anchor point to smooth and I'm gonna go to the handle which is right here. I'm gonna drag it down, also press and hold shift and I'm gonna drag the handle a little bit more down somewhere here and I'm gonna select it. Let's go to the blend, double click on the blend and I'm gonna increase the numbers to create this really cool blend effect. Click OK. This is going to, now this is going to create, <coughs> now this is going to create these errors no matter what. So I'm gonna select the rectangle again and I'm gonna go here and create a rectangle until it's gonna go down here and I'm gonna cut it where the error starts. Let's select both, right click and select make clipping mask. And pretty much this is one of the ways I can do this. Thanks for watching.